Hello YouTube, it's William. Uh, once again, out in the outdoor kitchen. It's about 110 degrees. <laughs> you didn't think. <laughs> and I'm going to play with some fire again. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. As the title indicates, I am going to make an Egyptian, or attempt to make, an Egyptian oil cloth uh, ground sheet slash tarp. Okay? What I did was I went and bought an Egyptian, I don't know if you can see that or not, the sun's kind of glaring on my stainless counter here, That's a uh, Egyptian 100% uh, Egyptian 100% um, Egyptian cotton, okay, and it's a twin size bed sheet, alright, that's all it is, just a 100% a Egyptian cotton cotton bed sheet. It's easy for me to say. Alright, and it's a twin size. Just a flat sheet. And what I did was I had my sweet mother sew some uh, lamp wick. It's just some cotton lamp wick all the way around it. And there's uh, one in each corner. Uh, two along the side and uh, one in the middle on the short side okay that's all it is now what I'm going to do now is I am going to take the um, hickory nut die or actually iodine that I made that you've seen the video of if you haven't seen it go back it's a homemade uh, iodine is what it is and all I did was I put um, several hickory nuts in a little bit of water about 10 months ago. And, I mean, it is it is turned into a dye. A hickory nut iodine. It's just as red as red can get. And I'm going to put it in this little bucket, which is just an old soup can, number 10 soup can, with about a, a cup of water in it. Okay? And you see, here's the here's the holes. These are the old green holes that I put in there. All right. And this is probably gonna stain my fingers. But that's all right. I don't care. Now, in addition to that, I went and collected, and all I could get was last year's holes. Just some more holes like this. And I want to just kind of break them up a little bit, and I'm going to put them in the in the water as well. And I'm just going to put it on low heat and just let it simmer there for several minutes, just to kind of break break all them oils and dyes and stuff out of it. Okay. So once I break these up and I put them in the bucket, I'll get back with you. Okay. I've got the uh, the holes broke up. Let me move the the camera down, and uh, I'll show you what I got. And all I'm trying to do is just take all the color I can out of these holes. Now if you have black walnut, that's even better. But hickory nuts and, and pecan holes and, and any nuts that has a green hole on it has iodine in it. In the, in, uh, I'm trying to just get some of that color out and uh, make this. This is green with white deals on it, but, but I just kind of make it muddy looking, you know, just kind of so it's not so shiny and uh, see what happens really just this is a test so let me move the camera down so you can see what's in the in the can all right so get the fire going here turn it down just as low as I can get it All right, just gonna let that set there and, and uh, on low heat for a little while and see if I can't get some of this, uh, as much dye as I can out of these holes. So I'll get back with you. I decided to add a little bit more water to it. But see how dark that is just coming out of there? So 
We ought to have a good dark dye. And it's been <clears throat> it's been sitting on the low heat for about 10 minutes now. So we're going to give it a few more minutes, probably about 30, 40 minutes, and and uh, see what we've got. So I get back with you. All right, now after 30 minutes on low heat, just let it simmer. This is what we've got, and it's kind of a a reddish, a reddish brown. Uh, color. So while that is cooling, uh, I've hung the the uh, bed sheet up so that you can kind of get more of a a better idea of what it is. So hang with me. Maybe we won't get a flash out, but you can see the tie outs on the on the bed sheet, and I'll give you a close up here in a moment. But basically, I've got them two on the long side, both sides, four corners. And then one in the middle on the ends. And uh, let me take the camera and I'll show you what they look like close up. On the corners, all, all she did was uh, fold them over and uh, then do a stitch with some backing, some, some heavier cloth. And it's just a, a heavy cotton thread that was sewed on the sewing machine. Now you could have done this by hand, but. Uh, it uh, it's just quicker on the sewing machine, and the feels. Oh, it was just do a backing and and then sew. The edges were a serger was was used just to so that they wouldn't fray anymore. But you can turn them under when you're sewing them by hand if you wanted to, and then sew them, and uh, they wouldn't fray that away. So once my liquid cools off to where I can I can put my hands in it, then I'm gonna dip this in, wring it out, and just work the material and get the dye in there as much as I can. I wanted it a little dark so I didn't put much water in it. I didn't have many many holes so like I say this is an experiment so we're gonna see how it turns out together. Well I'll know before you will but you'll know pretty soon. Okay you get the picture all right <laughs> so hang with me this is gonna be fun. All right I think it's cooled down enough we're gonna try it and see and uh Hope I got enough water. is to have as many hickory nuts as you can you can get. Kind of work the material and make sure it's it's good and covered. But you can already see how how brown, reddish brown the tie-outs are turning. Now if you had green holes, that would even be better. But I only had those few that I had been soaking for the past uh, 10 months or so. And all I did was just take about three, uh, three whole nuts with the green holes on them and just put them in about a cup of water in that little 
a coffee can and just let them sit. Just let them leach for, well, forever. And I've poured, I poured the iodine off of them a couple of times and put new water in them. And uh, so, just those few nuts will get quite a bit of, of uh, good antiseptic uh, wash for you. And evidently some dye too. All right, see kind of a, a rust it is? Turn that green into a kind of a, a rusty green. And the tie outs are kind of a reddish brown. It doesn't flash as much, and that was the, the general idea. Get it more of an earth tone. And so, Once it dries, um, I'll get back with you. All right, it's dry, and you can. There's still a little damp on the on the tie-outs, but that's okay. Uh, you can see there's little little splotches of what's still kind of a light green, but most of it is uh, is kind of that reddish reddish color, reddish brown, if you will. But it certainly is, is more of a muddied or, or uh, it's not flashy, in other words. Uh, so, the next step, uh, part two, is applying an oil cloth or an oil product to it. And I found this, uh, this recipe on the internet. I had mentioned it. Um, And I tried it as I mentioned on the uh, the market wallet, but the and, and it does okay, but it's still not waterproof. It um, it has the uh, the the pores on this cloth is just too too porous, so it's not working too well on on this this uh, canvas material. So I thought maybe I'd try it on this this uh, Egyptian cotton, and it's. Uh, it's about uh, four, I think it's 430 thread count, so in case you was wondering. Now to prepare this before I did anything to it, I washed it and dried it. So that expands all the threads and, and closes it up as much as possible. So you got to wash it, dry it, put on your, your tie outs if, if that's what you're going to do, and then uh, dye it. And if you if you want it real solid, then make sure that you you get the get it covered really well. But I kind of like that. It's kind of got a camo look to it. It's kind of a brownish green camo. Okay. Well, stay tuned for part two. If this works, then uh, you're going to see it. If it don't work, then you'll see that too. But hey, at least you get an idea of how to how to make a. A, um, a, a tarp out of a bed sheet. <laughs> if the if the linseed uh, recipe and and uh, mineral spirits doesn't work, then uh, uh, we'll do just straight linseed oil. That's what uh, Steve Davis did on his tarp. It just took longer to dry. The mineral spirits and uh, linseed oil mix 50/50. It's supposed to dry within 48 hours, and it did with this one. Um, it, it dry within 48 hours. Problem is it is still a little tacky. They say to completely dry, 100% takes about two weeks. So uh, just kind of give you a heads up. It's still quicker than than just straight linseed oil. And also, there's still a little bit of linseed oil smell, but uh, it's not as bad as it was. And this is uh, less than a week. It's probably about five days is what this is and I applied two coats of the the uh, uh, mix trying to trying to get it to work but this this canvas the the threads on it is just too porous all right stay tuned for part two I'm gonna do the uh, the oil cloth or the uh, oil treatment next thanks for watching until the next one you guys be safe
get out in the woods, go camping. Try this. Build you a, a tarp along with me. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> compare notes. But if you do, take plenty of band-aids and lots of knives. Y'all take care.